Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PC Live Pal Day Evolved deck video, and well, 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 what have we here? Well, Gengar VMAX got top four in the most recent late night tournament that had over 300 players in it. Yes, Gengar VMAX got top four. Now, shout out to Iron Golem. Uh, 2500 for getting top four with this Gengar VMAX deck. This is the list that Iron Golem used to achieve top four in the tournament. But Gengar is pretty good against the meta right now. It is a very good anti-meta, wrecks the meta decks. Gengar VMAX is a very strong Pokemon. I've done a video on a very similar build of this back in the Scarlet and Violet meta using Houndoom, Bibberol alongside Judge and Path to the Peak. It's very similar actually to the old Gengar decks that used to see play back in the day when Fusion Strike and Brilliant Stars were in their prime. Gengar was fairly popular with Houndoom back in the day, and the idea has been revived. The idea behind this deck is that Gengar VMAX is a great type against Mew VMAX and Gardevoir being a dark Pokemon, and it can one-hit kill your opponent's active Pokemon with GMAX Swallow Up under the right circumstances. Of course, GMAX Swallow Up does 250 damage. We can use Houndoom's ability Single Strike Roar to put Single Strike Energy on the Gengar, meaning that we can do 20 more damage and provide the Dark Energy, meaning that Gengar can go from 250 to 270 to 290 to 310, and you're just one-shotting all kinds of V-Stars. What Gengar does well against is Arceus V-Star. Not only do you path them so you prevent them from being able to play Star Birth, but you also just want to kill the Arceus V-Stars with Swallow Up pretty effectively. And again, being a Gengar V-Max with Fear and Panic is also really good against Mew V-Max, where it does 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon Vs and GXs in play. GX is rotated, but Vs are still around. So against Mew, you just farm Mew. As long as you set up Gengar, Mew's pretty hard to lose to, especially when you already have Path of the Peak in your deck, which is already really good against Mew. And this is the list that Iron Golem used once again to get top four in the late night against the meta decks. Judge Iono Path and 1A KO potential with Gengar VMAX. It is enough right now to put the deck into the meta. And I quite like the deck a lot. And I've I believed in this deck, man, from back in the day in the Scarlet and Violet format. I believed in this idea of Gengar VMAX. Before I do get into today's video, of course, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCG Live pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes in line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set code like the main set, Paldea Evolved, or an older set like Scarlet and Violet or Celebrations, or you want to get IRL Product 2, Card Cavern does sell IRL Product 2. You can get over there. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5 to discount on your order. Help channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out, use code LDF. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below too. Every Monday, I post a new video to their channel, and you can also check out my second channel down below. Um, actually, the recent video on my second channel was looking at the past three major online tourneys that Gengar actually got top four in. So definitely go check that video out on the second channel. And make sure to subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already either. But yeah, this Gengar deck is pretty sweet. Um, again, very straightforward deck. Gengar is a very low maintenance card. All you really have to do is just put Houndooms in play to build it up. And again, being a dark Pokemon is nice when you're playing against Gardevoir and especially nice when you're playing against Mew VMAX, which will struggle against Gengar VMAX. But the main selling point of this card is it just one of KO stuff. And with Arceus being extremely popular right now, Gengar should have a good time into the Arceus matchups because G-Max Swallow-Up with two single strike energies is just going to want to KO the Arceus every single time. And when you're using Path of Peak, preventing them from being able to play Star Birth, when you're Ionoing them, you're chilling. And Path allows you to attack Duraludon VMAX 2 with Gengar. Fear and Panic's not bad against Arceus. A lot of the time, Arceus um, puts a bunch of Vs in play with, like, Adventurous Discovery. So, yeah. Really good anti-meta card. I think the only matchup this deck is going to struggle against, ultimately, is probably going to be Rapid Strike because the Urshifu just destroys you. So other than having, like, a basic auto-loss to Rapid Strike, um, Ting Lu is also not ideal, but Ting Lu can be beaten. The way you can beat Ting Lu is you just play Path down, they can't do their abilities, or you path out of their Ting Lu, and then you build up a Gengar, you one-shot their Ting Lu, and then the Ting Lu can't be powered up again in a turn. So Ting Lu is not that bad. Rapid Strike is easily your worst matchup by far. Um, the only change is to make the list that, uh, Iron Golem played. I really want to play a third boss. This deck, in my opinion, needs a third boss. I felt that two boss felt really bad. I think we should just cut a research and play a third boss. I think three boss is the way to go in this deck. The Force Seal Stone is really good, too, because you don't have a V-Star power. You just Force Seal Stone for any card you want. Very good when you're trying to find energy, battle VIP pass, which this deck does play battle VIP to set up. It is, you know, at the end of the day, is battle VIP, give or take. But Battle VIP does let you get Bidoof, Houndour, Gengar's in play. Pretty good card, and it's how the original build of Gengar used to play back in the day. Let's go show off Iron Golem's list, show it off, and show how it wrecks the meta. All right, going to this game with Gengar. My opponent is playing Maridon. Hmm, okay. I might have to double Battle VIP here, because Maridon is actually a pretty good matchup, uh, I think, for Gengar. But I think I might need to get another... 
um, battle VIP. Because we can get donked. So yeah, I think we have to double battle VIP pass here with the Force Seal Stone. Um, which is fine. Yeah, having to Force Seal Stone for battle, double battle VIP, it ain't bad. Mew does it all the time, and it always works for them. Alright, so we just go Bidoof, Hound Hour. Pretty good turn one. Now, this is the thing with Maraidon. So, not only is Gengar V a good attacker, so is the VMAX. The VMAX is better if they have Bird Recharm. The nice thing about the VMAX, though, is it is hard to win a KO. Now, they could be playing Raichu, of course, but if we're just hand disruption and putting Path in play, it's hard for Raichu to KO me as easily, right? So, I'm feeling pretty good. Now, hopefully we don't get donked here. Honestly, I should have probably switched into Hound Hour. Probably should have, to be honest. Uh, but at the same time, we just make him have it, right? Make him, make him have the KO with the... Uh, the Maridon or the Raikou. So I'm feeling feeling like we're safe. We'll see though. If they're playing Reggie Lecky VMAX, that's annoying. They do play a Magnazone, which does force me to evolve my Hound Hours. There's the generator. Let's see if they get energy here. Let's see it. How much do they get? Did they got they got two, didn't they? They always get two. No, they got one. Okay. Do they have a second generator? Nope, they have a research though, which is pretty good. But they do lose a Zapdos and a Switch card, which is good. Should, actually, they should have benched Zapdos. They could have killed me with Raikou if they benched Zapdos. Yeah, the math would have worked out. They could have killed me with Zap. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't mention Zapdos there. Raikou would have had a KO. All right, they are knocking me out. All right, you'll love to see it. All right, that's good. Uh, okay. It's going to switch. We're going to Iono. Here we go. Can we get the KO here with Gengar? I would prefer to get the VMAX down here. Nice. We got Path 2. Nice. Not a bad Iono, because we also got the uh, the Hound Hour. Or the... Yeah, we got the Hound... I could, well, I could get Bibberol. Good Bibberol here. But I think I need to get a Houndoom down. If I whiff a Houndoom, it gets pretty awkward. Bidoof can't get KO'd by a Magnezone V-Star, so... It's better to get a Houndoom, I think. I'm just going to save the ability and just Fear and Panic for the knockout. My opponent keeps putting Vs in play. Fear and Panic can also start one-shotting Maridons, which is good. Killing the Greninja didn't really do anything for us, to be honest, but it's just nice to just take a prize. Because why not? Um, take the first knockout. I think we have to take the first knockout. The one thing I don't like about this Gengar list is the lack of boss. I think three boss is better than two. Um, but hey, it worked for my, it worked for the person that got top four in a late night. What can I say? I definitely think this deck needs a third boss, so. Let's see what they're gonna do here. They could Magnezone V-Star. They can KO a Hound Dower. They can put 90 on Gengar, I guess, which isn't bad. And then I just want to evolve it then into Gengar V-Max. There's the Raichu. Raichu's the biggest threat they have in this matchup because it can one-shot a Gengar V-Max. And this is where the lack of boss is coming into play. Because not having a boss here is kind of grief. There's an Ultra Ball getting played. That's gonna get the Magnezone V-Star, no doubt. They lose another switch card and an energy, so that's good. They got Magnezone V-Star. Magnezone V-Star doesn't knock out Bidoof. I hope they know that. <laughs> I hope they know they can't knock out my Bidoof here with Magnezone V-Star. They have one card in their hand. Is it a supporter? Let's find out. Also, where are they going to Dynamotor to? I guess it has to be Raichu, right? Yeah. Is there a supporter in their hand? No, there is not. Don't attack my Bidoof, bro. It doesn't work. Okay, yeah. They put 90 on Hound... Really? Houndoom, not Gengar? I guess they can knock out Houndoom with Magnezone V, but that's fine. Got Iono. We can just research here, and... Okay. Got the KO. Is there anything else I want to do, though? Not really. We got both boss. Our hand's pretty good for next turn. Not a fan of whiffing an energy. I could go Bibberol. Yeah, they're going to have to go Bibberol here, I think. Ricard is... Pr what do I value more, boss or path? Probably the boss, right? Grab Bibberol. Need to be ready to, like, earn next turn. Bibberol for one. What do we got? Research? Okay. Yeah, they might whiff the knockout. Fear and Panic also is doing a ton of damage, too, so we'll see. They put another V in play. We can... We'll figure it out. We'll take our prize. What do we got? Six and five, usually pretty good. 
yeah, Gengar VMAX number two is probably what I was looking for. Now, if my opponent does kill me this turn with Raichu, which is highly unlikely, they didn't do a supporter last turn. They have a two-card hand. There's a path in play. They have one Flaffy, two energy in play. There's a very low chance we get knocked out here, but it could still happen. It can, if they get like a research and they get a bunch of stuff, it's possible. But if they really have nothing going on in their hand and they just brick here, like, the game's over. They need one more energy to knock me out. Okay, maybe eh, maybe low chance is the lie. They have a generator. We can get KO'd. Oh, they had the research. Oh, they had a Serena too? What the heck? Okay, did they get the knockout? Did they get there? I need an Iono for next turn. It's actually pretty bad. We don't have an Iono or a Judge. Can't do Bibberl either, it looks like, with a clogged up hand. So they need an electric generator to knock me out. And they also need to hit it. Nope, they didn't hit it. They concede. Let's go, baby. Gengar VMAX swallowing up the meta. All right, we are playing against Mew, I think. Now, this matchup is... Oh, hopefully it's Mew. They have a Shampoo. See, they had a Mew coin, though. Our opening hand is pretty good. Yeah, we'll see if this is Mew or not. If it's Mew, we're chilling. Ooh, a Mulligan. It is Shampoo. Okay. We can be Shampoo. It's actually good we started with uh, Battle VIP and Judge. So, yeah, Shampoo's beatable. This matchup is basically just Judge Path, or just Iono Path. Path the Peak is, like, the best card in this matchup. Okay, good top deck. We got a Bidoof. Let's see what we draw here. And there's the Path. Um, the question is, do we... Do we slam that down right away, or do we wait? Because I can Judge Path. Hmm. If I judge them now, they can't, or the, if I pay the path, they can't do Shivery Chill. Yeah, you know, I think we just path now. Screw it. Pretty good turn one. I mean, our hand is kind of insane, too. Uh, we will be able to take the knockout, most likely. It was correct to not play the single strike, because if I prize, like, I leave, if I prize single strike energies, then I can't technically knock him out. But I do have the knockout next turn, if all goes well. But yeah, hopefully path is just good here. We have Judge 2 to follow up with. Judge, in general, just does a lot of work against Shampoo, even without the path sometimes. No, they have an Iono. Ah, oh, there goes our pretty solid hand. We'll see if this Iono gives me anything good, though. That's fine, too. This hand's decent. They're playing the Arceus version. Okay, and okay, they found the stadium. That's fine. We got Path. Do they get any... Oh, I was about to say, do they get Frigibacks? They do get Frigibacks. They get double Nest Ball. Rip, okay. That's fine. We have... That was a pretty good Iono. We can Bibberol. We got Path again. We got Boss. Yeah, we're chilling, baby. We're chilling. We just gotta hope they don't get any more stadiums. That's about it. Path and pray, baby. Path and pray. I could <laughs> knock him out with Gengar V. We might get KO'd by Arceus, though. I think I definitely just go VMAX. We just force him to KO me with Shampoo. I think that's correct. I think the VMAX is fine here. So let's see if we top deck. Iono. There we go. Supporter card is good. Go Gengar. I could play Pokestop. Doesn't seem like a good idea, though. I hate to get rid of boss, too. This deck... I think I've said this before. This deck needs to play three boss. Two boss sucks. I think this deck needs three boss. I think we're gonna... I, yeah, this deck needs three boss so badly. I think we wait to do Houndoom. We'll Bibberol here. Wouldn't mind getting Judge. No Judge. Nest Ball's good, though. Gets me another Gengar. We just Iono, and uh, we just need an energy card to KO the Shampoo. And let's see if we get it off Iono. We do not get it. But we can double Houndoom instead. Get rid of Switch. I don't want to get rid of Switch, but I have to because I want to keep the Judge and Boss around. And the Urn, obviously. I guess I could have got rid of the Judge, but yeah, I think it's fine to keep it. So let's just Single Strike Roar. Yeah, we did Prize and Energy. Yeah, we have to double Single Strike Roar to Gengar. It's fine. Iono Path and Pray, baby. Iono Path and Pray. Will it work? Find out another episode of TCG Live. All right, swallow up. The energy out of the prizes would be bad. I could always retreat to the Gengar, too, and then earn the energy back in. So we could always do that, too, next turn. All right, let's see. Five and four. Usually pretty good. Rod and Judge. Okay, so yeah, I should have got rid of the Judge now because I do. I got to judge off the prizes. It is what it is. We'll see if this Path of Peak sticks for a turn. They got no Star Birth. They got no Shivery Chill. They got no Conceal Cards. They also need Rickany back Excalibur. They lose one energy, two energy in the discard, so they need a lot. We'll see if they get there. Iono Path, baby. That's the that's the deck in a nutshell. Iono Path. Judge Path. That's it.
that's it. Because that kind of feels like an Arceus V-Star deck in some regards, where you're just basically disrupting their hand and just getting Path and Iono plus Judge. All right, here we go. Let's see if they draw into any playable cards here. We'll see how many Pokestop they play. Honestly, I'm not too, I'm not too like up to date on most Shampoo lists, so I don't know how many outs to a stadium they have, but we'll see. Because they don't get rid of the judge, they don't get rid of the judge or the path to judge. The heck, I can judge them. They don't have a Bidoof set up. There's an Irida. They could have a Vacuum. If they have Vacuum in hand, or if they have Rare in hand, they can go Vacuum potentially if they play it. Which could be a slight issue. No, Rare Candy, Shampoo. All right, if they have the stadium here, there's a world where we are going to get destroyed. Hopefully they don't got it. There's the Baxcalibur. Do they have a stadium? No stadium, one time. None of stadium, we're chilling. Super cold. Okay, they need a lot to knock me out. Two energy. What? Three energy? Okay, no knockout. All right. Oof, I was like, bro, did they actually get a knockout? Now I don't want to judge them because they have a one card hand. Might have to, though. We'll see who we top deck. The other VMAX. Hmm. I mean, they have a one card hand, right? But that also could be an Irida, which can get them like superior energy retrieval. Might have the boss, the Bax Caliber. I don't want to waste my boss, though. We can boss Bax Caliber and just hope that one card in their hand is unplayable. We have a decent follow up. I don't want to judge them. There's a there's a one card hand, bro. Yeah, we're we're bossing the Bax Caliber. They have a one card hand. I ain't. I'm not judging them. It's not happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> nope. Not in this lifetime. Now, if that is a research, then you know what? I will eat my words. But I got a feeling it's not research. Could retreat into Gengar. I mean, I could retreat here and then attack with Dark Slumber. Yeah, I might do that. I am down my other boss, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the... I think the retreat play is actually fine. Can earn. Might want to be able to attach energy here. I could fear and panic too. Um, but it would be better to make him go through uh three Pokemon, I think. So I'm gonna wait to do that. We'll super rod. Could go Gengar V Max. Because I could G Max swallow up for a knockout. I kill the backs caliber. They have one Frigi backs in play. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. I don't wanna I wanna make it harder for them to win. Okay, we did get a force seal stone. So I can take a knockout here. We can just paint explosion too for the KO. Yeah, we'll just do that, I guess. We'll we'll go for yeah, sharp paint explosion. The other urns in the deck. Ooh, the other urn is prized. Oof. Maybe I do dark slumber then actually. Maybe I do go G-Max Swallow Up. No, we Pain Explosion. I'm just going to take the Pain Explosion Knockout and just hope they don't got anything in their hand because then I can evolve next turn and attack. They have a one-card hand, right? Like, what are the chances? What are the chances? You know? Urn of Vitality, please. Nope. Energy? That's good, too. I'll take it. Not as good, but still good. All right. We're hoping that they're one card. I mean, they have two cards, right? What are the chances the two cards are good? What are the chances? What are the chances? Because now they need it. Not only do they need to get a, they need to get another rare. They need to get back to Calibre back into play. They need to get rid of the stadium probably, and they need a lot, man. They need so much here to deal with this Gengar. They need a lot. If they don't have it, we evolve in the active and swallow up for the knockout. So we'll see. How much HP does this Gengar Vmax have? One hundred. If I roar to it again, we go below 100, which means Greninja could knock me out at some point. We'd be mindful of that, I guess. But are they breaking? Let's see it. Are they breaking? Are they breaking? Do they got anything? Again, no, they don't. All right. Well, I think that's GG's, right? Because, well, not GG's, but it's looking pretty good. Um, We can actually paint Explosion for the knockout, which, yeah, we'll just do that. No reason to evolve. 
Again, if it, it's better if we try to make him go through three Gengars if possible, so. All right, give me the Urn of Vitality. Please don't be my last prize. Thank heavens. All right, that should be GG's. Next turn, we have game. We have game in hand. Let's say I own me to one, and then I have to Bibberol. But it should be GG's. I think their game may have crashed or something, but it was looking pretty good anyways. Again, with a two-card hand. Yeah, I think it's just GG's. Again, Path of the Peak and Judge. Pretty good against Xiampao. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty good against Xiampao. It's uh, one decent way to beat this matchup, even with the RC's V-Star. So, we take those. Yeah, I think they either rage quit or their game crash. I don't know how their game would have crashed. They didn't do anything to have their game crash, right? So, I think they just gave up. And there you have it. The game is over. We have done it. We have won. The match was looking pretty pretty good for me anyways. As long as my opponent Lily had nothing in their hand that turn, they couldn't do anything anyways. And yeah, Gengar, honestly, not a bad matchup versus Shampao in my opinion. It's not too bad. All right, going second here. Now, if we are playing against Mew VMAX, which judging from the Mew coin, it could be, but we'll have to see. That's the one thing when playing Gengar is I think it has a pretty good matchup against Mew. Unfortunately, our starting hand is not the greatest. We have no way to really draw much after this first turn. We'll have to see what this is, though. Is it going to be Mew? Lost Tina. All right, that could be tough. We are going second. And again, our starting hand is not fantastic. They also have a turn battle VIP, which is also not fantastic. Could be tough. I don't really know if I want to evolve my Gengar, to be honest. Might be better to attack Gengar V. We do want the VMAX, though, to probably want to kill the Giratina. But again, this hand is not... Not the greatest. They do lose a boss off the flower select. They bench a Manaphy. And they pass. Okay. That's interesting. What do we draw? Boss. Not great. Grab these two, I guess. And then... Attach. Path. Pass. The boss's order is good. Don't get me wrong. We probably do need it to deal with uh, Giratina, but... Not much else going on in the hand. Unfortunately, we had no supporter. No Iono, no Judge. Feels kind of bad. They only have one Giratina in play, though. We can definitely take advantage of that. But we'll see. If I can draw... Draw, like, a Ultra Ball, maybe we can get a knockout on the Giratina. I would love to kill Giratina. That's the plan. We want to kill the Giratina before they get to Star Requiem. That's what I'm scared of. Want to kill the Giratina as soon as possible. We just can't do that with our current hand. They could rope, I guess. There's actually a decent chance they rope knock out Bidoof here. I maybe should have maybe I should have played this a bit differently. They could rope knock out Bidoof, which would not be ideal. I'd have to give them Bidoof if they play escape rope too. They lose a Sableye, which is good. It's one less Sableye they now have, which uh does go a long way. We'll see what we can draw though. Again, we need a top deck here. This deck does play a lot of supporters though, to be fair, so hopefully we get something. They have anything. They attach the Giratina. They switch cart into another Comfy. Uh-oh. Not another Comfy. They're getting close to Mirage Gate, which is bad. I don't like this. This is not good. No, stop it. Do they have another... Do they have an escape rope? That's the thing that I'm scared of. No, they don't. Okay, what do we draw? Anything good? There we go. We got a research. We're going to Houndoom here. Losing this boss kind of sucks. The deck only plays two boss, which is... A slight issue, but it's fine. We can't KO the Comfy. We might have the Pain Explosion it. We'll see. See what we got off research here. Okay, that's a lot better. We can Ultra Ball here. I could go Gengar VMAX to knock out the Comfy. Then I can't boss the Giratina. It's probably not a good idea. I might have to, though. I'm, like, thinking about it. Might have to go Gengar VMAX. I mean, I need to take this knockout, right? I think we're going to have to go for it. I could Pain Explosion, I guess. Then I get KO'd by, like, your T. Yeah, I think it's fine to go VMAX here. This puts on more pressure. Because we can Fear and Panic knock them out. And then hopefully next turn we're able to find a... I don't think we're going to get boss. There's only one other. Well, we can find Force Seal Stone, I guess. But we don't have a Bibberol. Maybe I should have got Bibberol, actually, instead of the Gengar. Yeah, maybe I should have got Bibberol instead to draw more cards. Could have bibberled into the Gengar. I think that's what I should have done. I do have Iono, though. We can still win if we set up, like, a second Gengar. That's the plan. Set up a second Gengar here. Um, if they have a Choice Belt, maybe they can knock me out Giratina. Speaking of the Giratina, there it is. They definitely have another Colrus in their hand. If they play an Escape Rope, we can give them the Hound Dower, which is fine. Didn't bench other Hound Dower, obviously. I don't want to get Greninja'd. Okay, here we go. Do they have any... 
way to attack. They could hit me with Cramorant, which could be annoying. That's probably what they're going to do, so they're going to switch into Cram. They didn't play a Chorus, though. Hmm. If I can top down... Okay, if I can get into a boss's order here, I think we're big chilling. If we can boss gear Tina, we're chilling. If we can boss gear Tina, I think we're big chilling here. Ooh, speaking of boss, they actually boss me instead. They actually go after my Bidoof here. Interesting. This is an interesting play. I don't hate this, though. Uh, they're at six, seven, eight, nine. If I Iono them, they do get closer to being able to pull off the uh, knockout with Comfy. Or with Giratina, which I'm trying to actively avoid. Yeah, we're kind of getting Bibberol there. If I Iono them, they might be able to kill Gengar. I need to have another Gengar, though. I think I have to Iono. I don't like that, because I'm going to give them another Colrus, right? They didn't play one last turn. They obviously are going to get one off of that. Okay, that was a pretty bad research, too. Yikes. You know, it's not a great research. With the swallow up for the knockout, which feels pretty bad, too. Yeah, it's not good. Not ideal. We'll take our prize, see what it is. Houndoom, that's not terrible. We need to find a switch, though. Uh, we'll see. Do we have Super Rod still? No, we don't. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see if Gengar gets KO'd. Would have been better to, like, judge him there. Would have been better to judge. We'll see if my opponent does have the boss's order, or the boss, the uh, knockout this turn. They can get another Comfy. Like, all they need is two Comfies and a Colrus. And they can get to 10. And they can star Requiem me. And yep, there it is. That's why I was scared of. That's why I didn't want to... That's why I didn't really want to play the Iono. But I needed to set up more stuff. It feels kind of bad. Because now they're going to be at 10. They do lose two Rope, though, which isn't bad. I mean, they might struggle to get to 10. The only problem is I have no way to... I need to kill that Giratina, right? That's the plan. If I can knock out Giratina with another Gengar, I think it's definitely possible to win this game. I just can't do it with this current hand. They could also Sableye this turn. They could Sableye my Hound Hour and Bidoof. Knock both of them out, which would also be pretty bad. That wouldn't be terrible either if my opponent got to that. I was hoping to get another Gengar there, though. I really want to get another Gengar in play, right? Because if they knock me out, we need another Gengar. All they need is a Switch and a... They just need a switch and two switching cards and a grass energy to get me here. Or like a Mirage Gate would also work. It's very likely they get there. It's very likely. Or maybe they can't. I mean, the thing with Giratina, some Lost Tina decks don't play that much switch compared to like normal Lost Box, which is a big deal, actually. Like if they don't knock out Gear, if they don't knock me out here, we're chilling. No, okay, they got the knockout. Yep, they just need a Mirage Gate to Star Requiem me. Probably, unless I draw, like, an Iono, I probably just lose. Because I have no way to... I, I basically just... I'm screwed. I, feel, I need to draw, like... I need an Iono top deck, and maybe we can do something. I need an Iono here, and maybe we can do something. They pass? Wait, what? They don't have the KO. Draw an Urn of Vitality, though. Yikes. Okay. This is actually fine. This actually isn't terrible. So we can research. If I can find a Switch, which we do... I also got Nest Ball. Okay, this is actually ideal. The fact that my opponent didn't knock me out there is kind of bizarre. So, we can actually knock them out with Houndoom here. And they just hope they don't have a boss. Houndoom can knock out the Comfy. So, that's pretty lit. Actually. Hmm. I should have saved that, actually, because I do need the extra damage on the Giratina. That might have been a misplay. But I can always force heal still for Urn. We can knock out the Comfy here. Still no Bibberol. Maybe I should have forced Stone for Bibberol, honestly. I don't know. Could also get the Single Strike Energy out of the prizes. Nope. Ultra Ball. There we go. There's a Bibberol. They could knock out Bidoof this turn with Sableye. But if they go Sableye here, we'll just force Seal Stone for boss. I still can't watch out the Gear Team. Yeah, I don't think I shouldn't have. I should have waited to do Houndoom. I don't think I should have played it. I wanted to play it. Well, no. But then I can't really do G-Max Swallow Up. But if they boss, but they're not going to boss, so... Yeah, I kind of got punished there. But I can just force Heal Stone for the Urn of Vitality to knock out Giratina. I do think we win now. One, they're not doing boss's turn. Two, um, we have a Gengar one-shotting them. Like, yeah, I don't... I think we can probably just win here. This is looking pretty good. The fact that they didn't get the... Uh, the fact that they didn't get the... The what do you call it? The... The fact that they did not get the thing there is big. They only put a Water Energy. Okay, they must have prized a bunch of Grass or something. There's no way. Their Grass Energy has to be, like, prized. There's only one in Lost Zone, though. This is very confusing. 
They only put one energy on Greninja. Um, do they have the knockout? They can escape rope here. If they go rope, I'll give them the other Houndoom, I guess. What are they what are they plotting? This is looking like it is over though, for the record. This this match definitely feels like we just probably win from now. We just win from here. We'll see though. I guess they could Greninja me still. They have one Mirage Gate left. If they go one last Mirage Gate though, they can't do gear they can't they can't build up another Giratina, right? What do they even go? They don't tell me they're gonna try to attack Bidu. Okay, they're switch carding, I was gonna say. They're gonna comfy. It's fine. Nice amount of Houndoom. It's actually really tanky against uh, Lost Box. I kind of like this. Roxanne. That's good. Ooh, they play Temple of Sinnoh. Okay, that is a problem. That actually shuts off Single Strike Energy, but we can always get a Path of the Peak, so it's honestly not that biggie. It's no biggie. There's another Giratina. There's Sableye. They have eight cards left. If they don't take a prize this turn, I think the game's just over. They have to take a prize here. Or else we just basically win the game effectively. No prize taken. Okay. Um. Oh, look at that. We drew the urn anyways. I can't research this hand away. There's too many good cards. I think we're gonna get the barrel and just hold the hand. Well, they could lost mine me though. They could lost mine plus. I want to put the Force Seal in play, but I have a feeling they play a Lost Vacuum. They haven't revealed the Lost Vacuum yet. Like, there's none in the Lost Vacuum. So, there's a chance it's still in the deck, right? So, I'm, like, kind of skeptical about putting this Force Seal on. I might have to play the Iono, though, just because I need to draw cards. This hand is really good, but the problem is they can go Sableye plus, like, Roxanne or something, or Sableye plus Iono. And then I could be in trouble. So, I think I have to... I think I have to just go Iono here. Need to draw cards. Another Gengar VMAX. Uh, yeah, it's safe to put that into play. And we'll Bibberol for three. Path the Peak. There it is. Nice. I didn't want to force Sealstone for it, so that's pretty good. And again, Houndoom is just kind of a good attacker in this matchup. It just... It's just good. I mean, to be fair, there's no damage on it, which is nice. Sorry, single strike energy or the prizes. Yo, let's go, baby. Okay. As long as my opponent doesn't go Roxanne Temple of Sinnoh... Plus Sableye, I think we win the game. Even if they do that, right? We can just still put a Dark Energy on Houndoom. Hit Sableye for weakness. We are... I think we're winning this game. We are in a very good spot right now. We're in a very good spot right now. I don't know if we can really lose, to be honest. I guess what I could have done last turn is I could have retreated Houndoom and then knocked out the Giratina if I went Bibberol. If I Bibberol into a path or a boss, I could have potentially KO'd because I drew the urn, but I think this is fine, too. It's pretty hard to lose at this point with our current setup. So I don't think my opponent can really win the game here. It's not looking too good. As long as I can KO their Giratina in one hit, it's fine. Their best play is to like Iono Roxanne me. Oh, yep. Yep, there it is. But that's the thing. They Iono me like I still force Steel Stone. Plus I they have to get a last vacuum off this. Plus I still have I can just knock them out with Houndoom. And even if they knock out so even if they lost my my Bibberol, they still have to take four prizes. They can KO a, gear, a Gengar, but they still have to go through another Gengar or take another knockout after that. And we have a Houndoom in play with 130 HP, which means they can't use Sableye to KO it since... So that's, like, also good. You know what I mean? So it's just it's hard for them to map out their prize trade. You know what I mean? So they go knockout Bibberol here, and then they can KO a Gengar. They still have to take a prize, but there's two Houndooms in play with 130 HP, which Sableye cannot one-shot, neither can Cramorant. So... You see what I mean by it gets difficult at that point? Especially when they're down so much resources. They might not be able to even attack with other Giratina. All right. I think we win here, right? Well, now we do win. There should be an energy in the deck. Yep, there it is. That's GG's. We just hard to treat boss. We had four steel stone for a game, but top decking boss works too, I guess. You know. When in Rome. When in Rome. G-Max swallow up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Eat him up. Yeah, let's go. Broken. Busted deck, bro. All right, what, what were our last two prizes even? Iono Judge. There we go. No wonder why I can hand disrupt them. There we go. We take those. All right, we are going first here, which is good. We open up with a Gengar, and honestly, this hand is decent. I'm probably going to have to use the Forest Heal Stone to get a Battle VIP pass. Uh, but if we're up against Maridon, which is probably why they made me go first, right? 
Um, because I'm going first. My opponent won the coin flip, so they're playing Maridon. Good matchup. We just have to not get donked. But yeah, we definitely get Battle VIP here. Uh, that is a good top deck. So if we're little Nest Ball first. So we got in the deck Gengar. Most of the stuff is in there. All right. We did prize two single strike energy. That's not ideal. Definitely could be a bit better, but we'll do this. Grab the battle VIP pass here. We'll grab Bidoof and Gengar. Slam the path down. Do I... Now, the question is, do I go to the active or to the bench? I think we go to the... The bench. Pass. Because we don't know what my opponent's got. They could have a knock into my active. And with only double single strike, it's a little risky. If I had another Hound Dower down, I maybe would have went on the active. But we also have to Ultra Ball away our top deck. Assuming it's not a supporter. We have to Ultra Ball for a Bibberol. I think it was fine to go to the bench. Um... Because on the off chance, they have a good hand. I think it's fine. And if not, we can just go attach Houndoom, Fear, and Panic, knock out Marie, right? We get energy out of the prizes. We can shuffle that back in the deck with, like, a judge or something. Because um, two of our prizes are energy. They do have a Zinnia's Resolve of all supporters. But that only gets rid of Regilecki and a boss. Boss is a good discard, actually. Uh, but that's only getting four cards. Can they even pull anything off? No, they have to Palpad here. If they have nothing going on, Path the Peak is just going to put in work. If they don't have any way to go get a Maridon, we're just chilling here. Do they have any out to a Maridon? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope. All right, let's go. What do we top deck? Do the VMAX. Uh, that's fine. Ultra Ball the VMAX away. Grab it, bro. So we got Rod. We got double VMAX within this deck. Not going to be able to kill the Raikou, but I'm happy to knock out the Mareep. So, at the very least, we'll single strike Roar to the Gengar to get the energy on it. So that, at the very worst, we can Dark Slumber the Mareep. Though I would like to fear and panic it. Just to not get knocked out by, like, Maridon or Raikou. We do get a Judge and an Escape Rope. And I Iono. Could just Judge him here. Could Iono. Iono gives us pretty good chances, but I don't want to give them six new cards. But if I judge, I need an energy off of the judge. Might have to Iono. I no, we'll judge. It's fine. I'll judge. If I get energy, we're chilling. Because it'll be hard for them to KO me with a four card hand. We whiff the energy. Alright, no knockout. Got the VMAX though. We can bench Hound Hour and pass. Not gonna evolve the bench gang guard just yet, <clears throat> just in case. They play Escape Rope. We'll go Hound Dower. Um, I think it's fine to judge them there. Just slow them down a little bit. Judge Path, still pretty good. I mean, they had a four-card hand. They might have already had, like, a research in hand or something, so deny that. The Path is still in play. They need to get rid of this Path to Peak because, yeah, that Maridon cannot set them up. I did want to kill the Mareep, though. They have another Zinnia. Okay, there we go. They do play Regilecki VMAX, but they do lose a boss. So, essentially, they just Zinnia the same things away. All right. Can they get... Switch, Stadium, Energy Generator, stuff like that. Can they pull it off? They could attack with Raikou this turn. And if they do, we actually can't attack them. Because I didn't get... Again, those two energies being prized kind of scoots over. Yeah, actually, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have evolved. Because I actually can't knock the Raikou out. Because I don't have an energy in the deck. Oh, God. This actually isn't good. We'll see if they have the switch. Yeah, if they have a switch. Okay, maybe I shouldn't evolve the active. Okay, they don't have a switch. Thankfully not punished. There's the dark energy. There we go. We can knock out the Mareep. Um, it's fine to judge him again. No reason not to. Let me just check the deck real quick. The Obelisk Single Strikes are prized, right? Yep, both are prized. Yikes. Let's judge again. Slow them down. Might have to find Urn. We still have the uh, Forest Seal Stone somewhere in the deck, right? That'll help us out a little bit next turn. But yeah, we can Fear and Panic, knock out Mareep. The less Flaffies they have, the better. Because Raichu V is like the only threat that really is in my opponent's deck right now. And unfortunately, our prize was a Battle VIP Pass, not a Single Strike Energy. However, my opponent can't knock out my active this turn, most likely. And if they can't knock out my active, we should be fine. Now, they could theoretically still pull off a Raichu this turn. If they get... The right amount of combo cards. It's possible to get killed by Raichu. 
Well, to see. Oh, my judge did give them a research and a double energy for Flaffy. That's pretty good. Okay. I gave him a pretty good hand off the research. However, looks like we're going to be able to knock out this Raikou anyways with the Gengar VMAX. So it's looking like we're chilling. We can just swallow this up. If my opponent puts another V in play, uh, we can knock out the Raikou with Fear and Panic, which would be a lot better. We're doing 140 right now. So yeah, if they put one more V Pokemon in play, we can knock out the Raikou. Penny? Penny's actually... Penny's kind of smart, actually, in Maridon. I don't hate that. All right. Do they have a basic V? They grab a Reggie. If they bench that, I can Fear and Panic them. They bend... All right. We can knock them out Fear and Panic. We take those. We take those. I had the Swallow Up KO, obviously. Like, my game plan would have been go Swallow Up Knockout um, instead of Fear and Panic, but this just means I get to put energy elsewhere, so that's fine. Could switch into the other Gengar, too, if I really wanted to, just to save myself... I could get one of the Reggies, actually, which is also kind of tempting to do. Hmm. Yeah, I could knock a Reggie out here just to cripple their damage a little bit. If they get Okay, so if they do get a path, if they get out of the path lock, Reggies does let them do like 280. They have a bell, 310. I also kind of want to... I don't want to Iono my opponent. Because I don't want to give him more cards. If I kill the Reggie, they have to retreat the Maridon too to try to attack. I think it's actually correct to just knock out the Reggie. Because if they go Raikou again, we can just easily knock that out with an energy. So yeah, I think we just knock out the Reggie. There's actually a good opportunity to just KO the Reggie Lecky here, I think. I think this is fine. The VMAX is also hard to one-hit KO, especially when two of our energies are prized. Which we did... Okay, wow. Urn energy was prized. I didn't realize Urn was prized, but yeah. So now... Well, now we can one-shot the VMAX, because we would be able to put three single strike energy on a Gengar, which would let us do 270, 290, 310 damage. But this also works, too. Because um, if my opponent goes Raikou, we can just knock it out with another Gengar. And I think crippling their damage output is also pretty good. I'm pretty fine with that. I don't mind them knocking my active out here, because I can also just Iono them to three cards. The path is still in play. My opponent has not been able to play the game. The only downside is if they get a Raichu V going, this could get ugly. So they could still win with a Raichu V. To be fair, so this isn't over yet, obviously. They're going to Lightning Wall me, if that's fine. We can knock out the Reggie. Iono them to two, and then we can... Yeah, we can knock out Reggie, take three energy off the board, Iono to two, or Iono to three. And we just kind of pray they don't get the... Uh, I got to pray they don't get the Raichu. Do I attach Dark or Single Strike Energy? Put Dark on, right? Now, they do have to put two single strikes on, actually. So we have to put that on. I need one more energy. I could boss KO the Raikou, but if they have a Raichu here, we're screwed. So I think we have to KO the active. We have to go KO active and then... Yeah, we have to KO the active here. Let's do this. I think it matters if I grab another Gengar. All right. We KO the active, and then we just hope they don't win with Raichu. It's actually unfortunate that we have to put a damage counter on, because now they have to do 300 with Raichu. They need 5 energy, so uh, this is not great. This actually is losable. If they have the Raichu, they actually could still win this game. I just have to pray that Iono sticks. If Iono path sticks, they can't find the Raichu as easily when there's a... Yeah, they can't find Raichu as easily here. So we're just hoping for the best. G-Max Swallow Up. So yeah, if my opponent has a way to knock me out Raichu, we lose. So if they have if they have attachment Raichu, we lose. So this is actually not good. I have to just Iono and hope that they don't get Raichu. This is actually pretty close. We'll see. Currently, they don't have a pivot. They could also find Generator. Yeah, they could win with Raichu. If they do get Raichu, I think they actually can win this game. We'll see, though. Again... Iono and Prey. They got a generator. Uh-oh. Looks like it does get energy, too. It has to be Raichu. It's Raichu or Bust. They got another generator. Yo, did I Iono them into double generator research? If they get double generator research here, that's pretty bad. No shot, right? They can't do fleet-footed. No way. 
No way I own them into that. No, not happening. No, no, no. I refuse to believe. Well, they actually can't build up Raichu now anyways, right? Yeah, they can't even build up the Raichu here anyways, because there's no... Uh... Yeah, there's, they can't do double dynamite. Okay, they didn't get a support off the Iono. Okay, good. They bricked. Okay. We need to find a switch to win the game. And there it is. <laughs> we just top deck it. This deck does play a heavy amount of switch. So, that's one thing I like about it. This deck does play a lot of switch. But yeah, we can just swallow up for game. This did get close. Again, Raichu V is actually a pretty threatening attacker. It might be better to attack with Gengar V in this matchup, but when you probably double single strike energy like that, it gets kind of tricky. Um, but Iono Path is good. I mean, they did not get rid of the path the entire game. They were unable to find a single stadium that entire game. Their deck could not really... Their deck was functioning on, like, 50%. There you have it. That is the top four Gengar deck in action. Really good anti-meta deck that kind of beats a lot of the top decks, like Arceus decks. Pretty good against those basic V decks, too, and can be good against Xiampao. I definitely think the deck definitely needs a third boss after playing this deck a bit i think this deck definitely needs to play three boss probably cut a research i think four research is a little excessive three research for a third boss i think is the way to go but other than that this deck feels pretty decent and gengar v max is quite a powerful card in the meta right now and beating top decks with gengar feels pretty good the fact it got top four is sick was it a fluke i don't think so and this deck is actually a pretty solid enough deck to want to play again um, against a lot of the big meta decks like Mew and Arceus variants. Trust me, Judge Iono Path is a pretty good combo, especially when you combine Gengar and you're able to one-shot stuff with G-Max Swallow Up. It is pretty good. But that'll be for me if you enjoyed the video on the Gengar V-Max deck here. That got top four. Leave a like if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the to reaching 46,000 subs. I want to thank you all for all the support and growth in the channel. And uh, check out Card Camera down below if you get any codes. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord, and the Shuffle Squad down below too for some extra content. And my second channel for even more content. Thanks for watching. Catch you all in another video. Bye-bye.